Uh, a lot of people don't know about you since you are from the Philippines. Before you were a boxer at Ala Boxing, you were a janitor, am I right? So Nietzsche's nose that Rebecca. Actually, uh, janitor ko dati doon sa Ala Gym, but at the same time, uh, nung maliit pa ako, uh, pamilya ko, uh, may bloodline pamilya is uh, boxer also. Uh, Siyempre, magaling si Rebeko, uh, malaki yung uh, respect ko sa kanya kasi ito type of champion. Face to face! Here's the champion. His nickname is Aha, which is Snake. Ah, simply, masaya, masaya, kasi for the first time, sumasaba ako sa big time na promotion at hindi lang. Uh, makilala talaga sa buong mundo talagang uh, masayang masaya ako ngayon Better they say right off the top just because you have the title a little attitude We get a little bit more confident And beat somebody Here's how they match up two veterans 35 and 34 not much between for the IBF Flyweight Championship of the world. You think you're tough? He cleaned the snake bit. Is Five it, pythons. Is it after that? So he befriended the snake. The snake is now his nickname, and it adds a little mystique to him. Wow. Uh, I know there's story. a lot of things, Kevin, but five pythons. Uh, could you do? That's one. I, I would say next. I would call him for it. I would say, aha. Uh -huh. You can in a area that's given us many. Greco trying to make a move on the inside. It's a couple of body shots home, and thing that you say that, Kevin, because there's no height and reach. It's a filling out process right now. So the first round. Stop at the bell, gentlemen. Stop at the bell. Go into the books here. Masaya, masaya kasi uh, nakapagbalik na ako ng training dito at siyempre uh, uh, masaya din ako kasi nakatulong din ako sa kay Brian, katulong sa sa akin sa pag-sparring. So uh, nagtutulungan kami sa bawat isa. So ngayon uh, excited na ako talaga mag makipaglaban. Stellar night of boxing. Top fighters in over Chocolatito and they're keeping it going. As they sit to see Rebecca, his face in the corner when they were sitting down, Pepper Henry. At the end of the round, oh, you have an award hand by Nietzsche. Nietzsche. He's the best fight for his first world title this weekend. Steve Andrews. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and neither man is jabbing. Well, I just said that, and Nietzsche has landed two nice jabs on how to create the opening. There it goes again. He's got to stick to the jab. To open up something else. Of course, one man can, Dave, that the only time a man is open is when he's throwing punches at you. That's why this is always bugaboo for certain guys because you know, the opponent not fighting back yet has. Well, I said that the face was red I was at the earlier when he sat down after round one. Does that mean something? Getting his rhythm as we come to the end of round two. The jab and then go to the body punches from there. Want to employ. Did you ever face a mirror image guy? You being a lefty and also able to switch, did you ever fight a guy that was like you? Yes. Um, some, some of my qualities was Chris Nassim, as flexible as he was, um, very flexible, so he's very similar to fighting myself. Styles, so Styles win fights. Believe it or not, Styles is what win fights. To be confident enough to abandon maybe what you like. Bouncing and throw some jabs at this man, 
okay, and see how he reacts to that. Meanwhile, they... Fans not giving much of a leash to these guys be scientific about it and not getting a warm reception. And that goes to the point we made about the mirror images. They want to say politically correct that both men are fighting on the same statues. Um, they're trying to counter each other. The counter puncher counters the counter. Um, when the person, then that man will start succeeding. And like right there, the Yetis has visions of it, but it doesn't stay long enough. For it. So they continue to hammer each other, try to do the same things as we come to the end of round three. The fact that the smaller fighters will from A, are they tall for their weight class? B, is their similar style holding? Nietes is the world champion. And rebecca has got to take the belt from Nietes. So with that urgency, he should be going right after Nietes. The separation is going to come when one of these men. And knowing what your opponent does. I show you the punch before I throw it. The fans do not like the idea, the lack of action. Well, when you see two small guys get together, the odds are they're going to open up even though they have the same style. May not make that same commitment, and we're seeing here that they really are not. Well, it's like they say in boxing. Two boxers make a horrible fight. Two sluggers make a great fight. A box a boring fight, too, because people want confrontation. And right now, and then Rebecca gets a shot next. I don't want you to have a shot next. But that's what they're doing. As we come to the end of round four. The score, and I gave the last round dead even. Once again, I hate doing dead even rounds, but. Well, you can also settle into a comfort zone, as these guys seem to have done. If you, I'm going to try to do what I do well, and you have to ignore the crowd at that point. And if you're Rebecca, you may be saying, I'm in the fight. Maybe at some point I'll step in it and then win it. I believe that Nietzsche, is this all we have, or is he got another plan? And we talked about it at the beginning, Kevin, but this is a result of a style in which these guys have some built-in gridlock. Yeah, they both fight alike, so they both fight with their hands up high, side of their face. Yeah, the fans are starting to pull again, but they, they don't want to buy hit and don't get hit. They don't like that. Stop at the bell, guys. Stop at the bell. As we hit the end of round five. That's how it would seem from here, but of course, a long way to go, and the official scorecards. Yeah, Rebecca got some. See that? The left hook of the Eta is right there. He just out of difficulty. Takes a left hook, keeps coming forward, lands a nice, sneaky hook, and then an uppercut. And we saw Nietes try and disrupt the rhythm in your turn. Yes. He tried to punch when Rebecca was punching. He's starting to figure it out here, it seems like. Um, he's inside now for Nietes. Good hook, another good one. Backing Rebecca up. Yeah, Nietes is starting to break down Rebecca. Now, the uppercut has landed many, many times. It seems... Nietes, and I think a lot of what's helping him, Kevin, is what he's doing beyond for the champion as we close in on the end of the first half of this fight. Very lucky. But here you take a look. He was in the process of a punch. He got hit with a counter, and that shot hurt him. Now, if this happens with... And he got hit with a shot, and he's, he's wobbling, going back to the corner. He almost went down. Well, yes, he's... Good right hand by... Nietes wobbling Rebecca, and he is feeling it now. Good left hook here, and then to the body, and a knockdown. Come to me. Come and to Hernandez me. Sr. Come to me. Has Come to walk to, to him now. The look in the eyes. Referee says, no, no. You do not pass the test. This is over. So that's the quick examination by the referee. We take a look, okay, at Nietes throwing a straight right hand. Then in flush on Rebecca, and Rebecca going down, his knees buckling a little bit, and him coming up to recover. Now here we go, take a look. Look at the body work, excellent End body work. Smart move, go downstairs, then go to the uppercut, and puts Rebecca down.
and still WBO flyweight champion of the world, Danny Ahas Nietzsche.